Yeah, well, people, so I went back to grab that TV because consensus of opinion was I should grab it. And I couldn't do it right at the time because, um, yeah, it was pissing down rain and it's gone. So, bugger. See, quick in the dead. It's the quick in the dead. Ah, well. And just so you know, in Australia, if it's, uh, if it's not in the bin, it doesn't get taken at all. So, unlike America where you can put it out beside your bins or whatever, here, um, it, that doesn't happen. So, yeah. So, as you all realise, I missed out on that last TV, which was on the side of the road, but, 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 I have a plan B. Which is this one. So this one's uh, a TV that I found on the side of the road. There's a video about it well, way back. If you care to look, it works. Um, there's no remote. Uh, it's an AWA. That's as heavy as anything. These buttons on top here don't work. Well, they do, but dodge. It's really hard to try and change anything. So I've decided, as soon as I say this is plan B, that this will, there we go, model number and everything. But yeah, as soon as I say this is plan B, it doesn't get used. Um, I've got no TV connection down here in the garage. Uh, it'd probably be all right for DVDs, but then again, I have trouble trying to change the channels on it, so so this is going to be it. Um, we'll pull this apart. This is my first TV. Uh, I don't know what to expect. It's bloody heavy. I mean heavy. Um, so yeah, I don't know whether the heaviness is just the screen or what we might find inside. But anyway, we're going to have a go at it. So um, yeah, I'll take the back off. And I'll show you. So the first thing we'll do is take the base off. You can see the screws here. There's a few. So we'll take them off first, take the base off. Normally the base has got some sort of metal in it, but we'll check it. Take the base off and then we'll undo all these screws around here. and see what happens after that. All right, I'll get into it. I've just spotted all these. So, yeah, we'll undo all these ones as well. Might as well pull it right apart. All right, that is a heavy, heavy, it's probably about five kilos, or uh, five pounds, six pounds, about two or three kilos. That is heavy. So that's the base off. Back to so, it. Yeah, the base is off. Plastic. Another heavy, chunky. Obviously, but to, to, you need it fairly chunky and heavy to hold the weight, but yeah. So, there we go. That's that. Now I'll, I'll attack the back. Back's off. Yeah, speaker there, speaker on that side, still got lots, hang on, focus, lots and lots of little screws to get off now, there's a little board there, I don't know what that is, but yeah, I've got lots of screws to, to undo, and you can see all these, um, yeah, we'll keep going. Screws coming out look like brass, but um, yeah, they're not. Oh, come on, focus. There we go, sort of. Yep, so they're not. They look brass, but they're not. And I've just taken that little backing plate off there, and um, more to go. Another chunky piece of steel. 
fairly weighty, but what's underneath it is the good stuff. I don't know what any of it is, but that's a that's a fairly big motherboard, isn't it? Um, got some copper there. That's another. I would assume. Sorry, I would assume that's copper as well. Um, yeah, I've got no idea what any of it is, but uh, there's lots of chips in there. Alright, someone help me out here. What's that one? Looks like it's got gold pins on it. Could be, don't know. There's a bit of a heat sink, that one. So yeah, that's bloody interesting, that. So, we'll pull that apart and see what happens. I'll take that bit off and see what happens. Alright, back soon. Alright, so we're getting there, but I have found that if you... This has been serviced or something or other by someone else. That's their... Um, that's their bloody sticker there. And I'm pulling this apart. This, which I'm not real sure what the bloody hell it is, but obviously it's an input. Come on, it's an input. So the screws were hanging out of that. Like it wasn't sitting there properly. Um, the screws, this is obviously the power board. And the screws on that were hanging out as well. Like, yeah, whoever fixed it once before didn't do, didn't put it back together very well. So yeah, and I just noticed gold pins there by the looks of it. Hmm. All right, back in. All right, so I need help. I know that's a power board, and that's all good. I've got no idea what that is. There are gold pins down here where my little finger is. Um, again, we've got gold pins there and gold pins there. But I don't know what any of this is. So, need help from you fellas. Um, these two in here, obviously. That one and the other one. Uh, something. I don't know what. And then we've got the main motherboard. Which has got the aluminium heat, heat, heat sink. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I can get it out there. So we've got gold pins there, as you can see. Look at that. Oh, got the light just on the right spot. Um, but all of these other bits. Yep, got no idea. No clue. Are they worth depop... Is it worth depopulating or not? All right, fellas, come on, help me out here. I need help. All right, so I'll put those aside and we'll keep delving into it. No wonder this bloody TV is heavy. That's a solid, chunky piece of steel there. Like, there's my hand against it. It's going to fall over. But that, I don't know. That's about six or seven pounds for five kilos, ten pound by itself. Easy. Hmm. Now I've got this, which I've got no idea what to do, but we'll keep going. I'll figure it out, and when I figure it out, I'll tell you. All right. Got these two covers off. Um, they're just I've checked them. They're not stainless. Look stainless, but they're not. That one. That one, and look what we've got. Again, I need your help. <laughs> no idea. And this here is that gold flashing. I don't know. I'll be guessing. 
and those things don't want to unplug real easy. I haven't tried this one yet. But yeah, anyone tell me what they are? These things here. Alright, you buggers have got some homework to do. Or well, so have I, but yeah. Interesting to note. This is uh, LG Phillips. No WATV, but yeah, LG Phillips on the back of it there. Hmm, here you go. Keep going. Alright, so I've got this far. I can't seem to get any further. To get the plastic out and maybe get these boards out. I don't know whether they're worth anything or not. There is, they're still attached to that board at the back there. There's a couple of little boards down the side as well. Um, mm. I'll, uh, I'll just keep going. See what I can do. I'm probably going to end up snapping plastic here. And I can tell you, there hasn't been much plastic at all in this. Um, that piece and that piece. That's all the plastic. Everything else is metal. So, yeah, look at it. All of that, apart from the boards, is metal. No wonder the bloody thing is so heavy. So, here's what the screen's made out of. It's glass. That's, I don't know, plastic, but it's got a silver coating. It's another plastic and another plastic. Um, big sheet of white, white perspex. And the very back was the stuff here. And, hang on, I'll just grab them here. I'm just trying to be delicate with these because I don't know whether they're glass or not, I assume they are. But yeah. That's it, LCD screen. That's what it's made of. And I can tell you, that's as light as anything. And all the rest is steel. Right, so we've got it all apart. Um, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll uh, put it all together and give you a look at what we ended up with. It's getting dark in here. <laughs> <laughs> Lights on, but yeah. So, we ended up with, it's all tin shred. Um, I don't know, I reckon it'd have to be 15 kilos, 30, over 30 pounds of shred there. Not a problem in the world. A couple of big, that's a big chunky piece. That's a big chunky piece. These two here. That one and that one are both bloody, they're as heavy as anything. I was quite surprised. There's a couple of pieces of shred there. I thought were stainless, but they're not. A whole heap of ribbon wire and normal wire. A couple of speakers. It's uh, all the screws that come out of it. Um, over here, this is the plastic. So, we've got those sheets. I don't know whether it's mylar or what, something rather like that. The screen, there is this, well, I forgot this big piece here too, which was the whole back. But out of it, like if you don't count those floppy bits there, nothing worse than having floppy bits. Um, if you don't count those, there's only four pieces of plastic in it. Uh, the screen and the little fluoro tubes, I suppose, you'd call them. And then onto the good stuff. Uh, I don't know. Well, it's got all your fittings on it for uh, your plugs. So, yeah. But I think they're gold plated plugs on the end there. So, that's rather good. These all. I'll wait for your blokes, you blokes to tell me what's going on with these. That's the power supply. 
Um, I've got no idea what that one is. I mean, obviously it links up to your screen and sends a signal through, but I don't know what any of those are. Um, this was on the back. Now, am I mistaken, or is that flashed gold? I don't know. There and there. I wouldn't have a clue. Um, that's your RF input, I think. I think that's what they're called, RF inputs, probably. Not sure. Uh, one little board there. Another little board there, which is your switches. Now these three here, this is interesting because, hang on, I'll get back. That looks like gold flashing to me. I don't know. That looks like all gold flashing. And the centre of these sort of looks the same. Come on, focus you horrible thing, you. I'll try not to swear. You know, it sort of wants to. So there's two of those. Um, yeah, that's the switch, which operates these. Um, and then this, the main, I suppose that would be the main motherboard. Um, yeah, which is where I need your help. I don't know what they are. Um, <laughs> should be a surprise. There's probably a quarter of a pound of screws. And no, they're not brass. I've checked. I wish they were. Alright. Well, hang on. Put my fingers in front of everything. Yeah, well, that's. That was it. Um, need a little bit of help. Trying to figure out what's what. I don't really. My first time I've ever scrapped a TV. Um, but yeah. I'm probably better off with this one than the one that, you know, that disappeared that I went to go and pick up today anyway. Um, the other thing is, most of the stuff that I find, I don't deliberately, not often I deliberately go out to get it. Like, I'll, I'll go to the shops and on the way back, I'll, uh, I'll wander around and, like, you know, detour just to find things like this. But like I said, that was a working TV. Um, yeah. Oh, Bloody happy with that. <laughs> yeah, that's rather good. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed doing that. I enjoyed micro scrap. So yeah. So scrap it Dave or Recycle Dude or Bloody Gill Skills, Bob. Any of you boys? Give us a bit of a bit of a hint on what I've got here. Um, it'd be nice if I could actually hand it to you and say, what's this? What's this? But I can't. So yeah. To see what you, yeah, if you can help me out a little bit, that'd be appreciated. All right, fellas and everyone else, thanks again to all the new subscribers. Um, bloody awesome, bloody awesome. Um, everyone's in America. I'm not getting any Australian subscribers. <laughs> so thanks to the Yanks. There you go. All right. Big fat bastard kegs out. Catch us later. Ooh.